There they go, off and pacing outside. A rough coast, quick off the gate from the inside. Dividend Day. These two into the first turn. Dividend Day is the early leader. From the outside, a rough coast tucked in second. Windermere Jimmy now finds a spot into third. Hurricane Arthur got away fourth. Then that's the Pitta in fifth. The early trailer, that is Da Vinci Art. The field all settled now as they on route to the opening quarter. They're chasing the post-time favorite, Dividend Day and Jill Barrio. They set up shop on the front. Their lead's two by the opening quarter. 30-2, and two, Dividend Day on top, showing the way. Right there, second, a rough coast. Wood Windermere Jimmy rides the rail in third. Hurricane Arthur studies them from fourth. Then the pit is gapped out in fifth. Da Vinci Yard trails, but steps to the outside. The horses come in front of the fans. First time around. That's the two-year-old daughter or son of Ameripan Gigolo. Dividend Day showing the way for Jill Barrio. Right there on the leader's back. That's a rough coast. First to move, Windermere Jimmy was third. Now second, he's up to engage the leader. They were over the half, 103 and 1. It is Dividend Day still on top. Windermere Jimmy working hard on the outside. He tries to get his nose up to second. A rough coast on the inside was second, now third. Hurricane Arthur on the inside, fourth. Da Vinci Art stalled on the outside in fifth. The Pittas trails, but she's up the inside on route to three quarters. It's still Dividend Day showing the way. His lead's out to about two lengths. A rough coast on the inside tries to stay with him in second. Windermere Jimmy on the outside, third. Three quarters came and went, 133 and two. It's still Dividend Day showing the way. A rough coast has had the trip in second. He'll try him down the lane. Windermere Jimmy still there, third, top of the stretch. Dividend Day shows the way home. A rough coast is second on the inside. Windermere Jimmy on the outside, but it's payoff day for Dividend Day. He's a winner on the wire. Second was a rough coast. Third went to Windermere Jimmy. Time for the mile, 205 flat. Dividend Day and Barrio take the opener. There they go, off and pacing, far outside. Cecil's Express is firing off the switch in between pacers. Choke go to Russo into the first turn. It's Choke go to Russo on the inside. Cecil's Express not backing off this week. These two hook up on route, on route to the opening quarter. This opening quarter panel is going to be serious. Cecil's Express from the far outside. He wants to be the leader and he is clear now on route to the opening quarter. Choco to Russo's in behind him. The opening quarter is up. 27 and 4. That's the opening panel laid down by Cecil's Express. Right there, second, Choco to Russo. Gapped out third, Woodmare Big Splash. Honto is fourth. Brandon's Glory trails early. They are strung out in front of the fans. First time around, they're all chasing a fired up Cecil's Express and Lonnie Stokes. They paid the price to be the leader, and they are halfway home. Choco de Russo right there, second. The horses are halfway home. 58 and 4. It's Cecil's Express showing the way. Choco de Russo now locked up in the box. Working hard on the outside. That's Woodmare Big Splash. He was third, now tries to get up to second. Following the live flow, that's Brandon's Glory and Honto Trails on down the backside. Cecil's Express under attack. Three wide from the back. Brandon's Glory just went by them in about four strides, and he's gone. On route to three quarters. The three year old son of Brandon's Cowboy is clear. 128 and 4. Brandon's glory's gone. In the center of the track, Honto's trying to take over second. Woodmere Big Splash on the inside is battling him. Choco de Russo fourth. Cecil's Express is fifth. Top of the stretch. Brandon's glory shows the way home. He's got them by three or four. Honto's trying to track him down in second, but it's a battle against the clock. Brandon's glory and Barrio coming to the wire. Honto's up for second, close for third. It's a photo for third, actually, but at the line, Brandon's glory was there. Two minutes and three fifths. There they go, off and pacing far outside. Magical Alex blasted off the wings. He's the leader into the first turn. From the inside, upstairs with Ron's getting away second. 
Meter leader is going to be in the three hole, and Skippy's going to back off early. He is the the trailer. The field comes out of the first turn on route to the opening quarter. They're all chasing the nine-year-old son of Herod's. That's Magical Alex. He's a winner of 50 races in his career, looking for number 51, and he sets up shop on top, on route to the opening quarter. Upstairs with Ron's right there, plugged in for the pocket trip. Quarter time came and went 29 and two. It's Magical Alex showing the way. Upstairs with Ron, right there on the leader's back. He is second. Third goes to meter leader. Then Skippy is fourth. The field is uh, gapped out a little bit as they come in front of the fans the first time around. No backing up today, it's Magical Alex right on down the road. He's the leader halfway home. Right there second is upstairs with Ron. Meter leader now tightens in from third. No move yet from Skippy. The field's halfway home. 59 and four, it's Magical Alex on top. Upstairs with Ron, the closest to him in second. Meter leader is third. Then Skippy on the riding the rail in fourth. They start to straighten up down the backside they go. It's still magical. Alex's leads a length and a half. Inside upstairs with Ron is second. Center of the track, that's meter leader. Three wide from the back. Here goes Skippy. They're on route to three quarters. It's still magical. Alex showing the way. By three quarters, what? 30 flat, magical Alex. Skippy on the outside has come to call. Skippy is now up to the leader's wheel. Upstairs with Ron is third and meter leader is fourth to come to the top of the stretch. Magical Alex shows the way home. Center of the track, Skippy's trying to track him down. Upstairs with Ron is third, but these two hit down the lane. On the outside, Skippy's coming on. Magical Alex is digging in. Skippy, Magical Alex at the line. Magical Alex got there for win number 51. Skippy was second. Upstairs with Ron was third. Time for the mile, 201 and two. Magical Alex. There they go, off and pacing inside Maiden Paris, outside Gwinning Gwen, these two into the first turn. Gwinning Gwen on the outside, wants to the front, driving on. That's Gwinning Gwen now getting to the lead. Maiden Paris, left hard, got away in second. Ideal ticket, found the three hole. Then we have Victory George in fourth. The early trailer can see them all. That's Windermere Nick, compact field of five, on route to the opening quarter. They're all chasing Gwinning Gwen and Luke Armstrong. She sets up shop on the front end. The big mare's clear on top by the opening quarter. 29 and one, it's Gwinning Gwen showing the way. Right there, second made in Paris. Third is the favorite ideal ticket. He's got an eye to the outside. Now he steps to the outside as the horses come in front of the fans. First time around, it's Gwinning Gwen on top showing the way. Ideal tickets out to challenge. He was third, now second up to engage the leader as the horses are now halfway home. Gwinning Gwen on top showing the way. Ideal ticket right to the leader's wheel. They're halfway home, a minute and two fists. Following the live flow, that's Windermere Nick. Gapped out in the pocket, made in Paris. The early trailer is Victory George. The field starts to bunch up at 5 eighths. It's still Gwinning Gwen on top, showing the way. Ideal ticket doing the hard work today. He's first over, staring the leader in the eye. Following him is Windermere Nick. Then off the cone, still Victory George now to fourth. Maiden Paris tires back to fifth. They head to three quarters. Ideal ticket on the outside, tries the drive by. Gwinning Gwen not done yet, battles back. Three quarters came and went, 130 and one. Ideal ticket on the outside, trying to drive by, but Gwinning Gwen not ready to let him go yet. These two things are unsettled at the top of the stretch. On the outside, ideal ticket finally clears to the lead. Gwinning Gwen's trying to come back on the inside, but ideal ticket. Ticket now forges to the lead and draws off in deep stretch. It's all ideal ticket and Todd Trites. Ideal ticket at the wire. <coughs> Excuse me. Gwinning Gwen was second. <coughs> Windermere Nick was third. Time for the mile. 202 and 1.
There they go. Great start, center of the gate. Wave that banner's flying into the first turn inside. HP Bashuto Drag Jet stacks them up three wide, far outside. Fall Bliss is getting the worst of it early. Round the first turn. Fall Bliss from the far outside. He wants to be the leader on route to the opening quarter. He's there now, just gets clear of HP Bashuto Drag Jet. Getting away third, that was Wave That Banner, the early trailer. That's the three-year-old KD Overdrive. The field goes by the opening quarter, 27 and four. That was a smoking opening quarter by Fall Bliss and Dr. Mitch Downey. They're the leaders on route to three-eighths. Right there on the leaders back, HP Bashuto, Drag Jet, and Todd Trites. Wave that banner and Sam Hodgson are staring at things from third. And Barrio's at the back with KD Overdrive. The doctor's hitting the brakes now. Halfway home. Fall Bliss is on top and showing the way. Right there, HP Bashuto, Drag Jet is second. They were halfway home. 59 and 1. It's Fall Bliss on top. HP Bashuto, Drag Jet right there in second. Wave that banner rides the rail in third third. KD Overdrive is fourth, but he eyes the outside as the field heads up the backside. On route to three quarters, it's still Fall Bliss on top. HP Bishuto Drag Jet staying with him in second. KD Overdrive's up the third on the outside. They went by three quarters. What? 29 and two. It's Fall Bliss and he still looks strong. His lead is two. HP Bishuto Drag Jet is second. KD Overdrive on the outside third wave that banner is fourth they hit the top of the stretch just like most weeks they're chasing fall bliss and dr downey he shows the way home he's got them by about three or four and he can shut them down from here it's all fall bliss on the doctor second was kd overdrive third went to hp bashuto drag jet wave that banner was fourth time for that mile 159 and one fall bliss win number 11.